So they're just trying to kill the low powered stuff, right? That's what we have to keep denying. <laughs> um, guys, uh, I'll get back to you in an hour. I just got some reading to do. Is that worth a heat wave now? I don't know. It's, it's like really late. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight. If, really? You think so? Why don't we let them overswarm this side? Yeah. Why don't we just let them clog? Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh! Whoa! That's so good now! Well, oh, Axel Three Eyes like really comes down hard here, you know? He's massive. That's a freaking huge axle, man. But I just can't play anything here. I'm clogged. Hey, what's up, legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together a battle trance list. So there's a lot of aspects of alchemy in this deck. Leader ability, battle trance, order, spawn and play madrome. Madrome is this special card that we see here. Also, whenever we play an alchemy card, heal a random allied unit by one. With our leader ability, since it is an alchemy card, we're going to look to use that to synergize in particular with the crow clan preachers. Typically, our leader ability will come out round two or three. Seems to work really good when we have all our preachers down. And we're playing our scenario card in particular so try to reserve it for that time stratagem that we're utilizing is mask we are running the discard package in this deck that's why we're running the stratagem to help get tempo round one few extra points on the board in combination with coral burner those kinds of cards the order allows us to draw a card then discard a card spawn two crows in your melee row good thing about this stratagem is as i said it has synergy with coral in that it discards but also in spawning the crow token units we are playing axel three eyes in this deck so it gives us a few extra beasts on the board for axel three eyes to get a boost from when playing this card range throw so what you're going to look to do with our stratagem is the optimal targets to discard would be morkvag of course the skirmisher units and really you can pick some lower costed cards Probably being the alchemy cards in this deck that we have here. These ones in particular. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up. Explain how best to play each card. When to play it during a match. And then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with we have a number of druids in this deck. Because we need to ensure we have enough activators for our scenario card. So we do have two crow clan druids. The way these cards work is that on deploy, boost adjacent beasts by two. So we are playing these between the, the crows that we're going to be spawning and swarming in this deck. With the Crow Clan Druid, it seems to be consistent being played with Scenario because Scenario spawns crows. Also, we are playing the alchemy card, Crow's Eye Rhizome. So you can synergize Druid with Rhizome. 
Also, round one, if we're going first, we are getting the crows spawned from stratagem. So you can play Crow Clan Druid then. So those are the different options we have for this card. We have two, two Crow Clan Preachers. The Crow Clan Preachers are best saved to be played as activators when committing the scenario card and also in combination with Truffle. So we're looking to play the Preachers round two or three. Whenever you play an alchemy card, boost self by one. Bonded, boost self by two instead. So really to get the best value out of this card, we want to play them all together in a round and then commit our alchemy cards soon afterwards for a great boost. We have Pella. Pella allows us to purify a unit of our choice. At this time, we're seeing some pretty heavy poison decks. Syndicate in particular running a lot of poisons. Maybe Pella will be good to save some of our taller units such as the Preachers if they become poisoned. You can also purify an opponent's defender and perhaps use heat wave on something behind the opponent's defender or if our units get locked remove a lock etc those are the kind of options for Pella. hey mate skulls part of our consistency package we're playing these range draw draw a card discard a card we're looking to use our our drawing and discard package round one at best so play these out round one and like I said, the same thing for Stratagem that we're doing, we're going to be doing for these kinds of cards, which discard as well. You're going to look to target the Skirmisher, Morkvarg, or some lower costed cards. What you want to do is before you go ahead and start discarding cards, try to have Coral on the board down first thing though, to get greater value out of the discards that you do. Coral will be doing two points of random damage. Two Crow's Eye Resume. We're going to try to save our alchemy cards to be played when we have the preachers down on the board to get that great boosting bonded value that they offer. However, we can also play a kind of a crow swarm round one to work with the crow clan druids and axle three eyes. So we can use crow's eye rhizome at that time. Mahakab Ale, we have two because... These cards make sense in this kind of a deck. They're an alchemy card. And also, they give us a lot of good value in that they allow us to remove a lock from a unit. So we get to boost the unit by 5, remove a lock. You can imagine having so many Preachers down on the board. If they become locked, it would be kind of bad for our strategy. So if we're coming up against a heavy lock deck, these cards will feel great. Remove lock. The Preachers can continue to get their very good boosting value. So maybe in some matches, you won't really need to look for these. And in some, they're going to be more relevant to you. Another alchemy card. Boost the unit by six. Maybe this can come in handy at this time against sea hill decks. I'm seeing a lot of sea hill decks at the moment. So we could also save these boosting kind of cards to counter sea hill. When they play their lower powered tokens out. Stop them from getting death blows with sea hill. But outside of that, like I said, you're going to try to play... The majority of these alchemy cards with the preachers round two or three for that bonded value skirmisher units are our discard targets when this unit is discarded summon it from your graveyard to the melee row gives us a few points to help get round control and can work pretty good especially when we're doing this with coral down the board already like i said try to commit this discard thinning consistency package round one for the best results so that we pull into our better cards later on Axel Three Eyes. Haven't played this card in a long time. What we want to do with Axel Three Eyes is emphasize playing Axel for the range draw ability. Boost self by one for each allied beast. Uh, if you play this card melee row, spawn a crow in this row as well. That's an option. So Axel will play for greatest value ranged. What we want to do is play Axel. Maybe Axel plays best round one in our deck if we're going first. We got crows spawned from stratagem. We have Crow's Eye Rhizome. Morkvarg is also a beast. Probably round one is when Axel could play best, but could also work good later on if you use the Alchemy card, which spawns Crows, and with Scenario. So that's when we're looking to play Axel Three Eyes, either with Scenario or round one, I believe. Range throw play. Morkvarg, a discard target, either discarded through Stratagem, discarded through Burner, Coral, or the Skulls. When this unit enters your graveyard during the round, summon it to your melee row, giving it doom. Keep in mind, 
This card has the beast tag. Works good with Crow Clan Druids and Axel 3 Eyes. Burn a brand, draw up to two cards, then discard the same number of cards. For the best player with burner, we want to play burner right after having Coral down on the board. Works very good with Coral this card. And our targets for the discarding will be the same. Lower provision costed cards that we may not need. Or the skirmisher units, Morkvarg. Those are going to be our best options. So obviously we want to play burner round one with Coral at best. Coral has a zeal order ability. Draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever you discard a card, damage a random enemy unit by two. The idea with Coral is that before we commit the majority of our discarding, we want to have it down on the board first. So you may do one proactive play of discarding a card, right? You may open up when going first, going Haymate Skull, discarding Morkvarg or Skirmisher. But the next thing you'd want to do right after your opponent has a unit on the board is play Coral, use her order, and then you want to commit Burner and the other um, Skulls use Stratagem. So this way, Coral plays for some pretty good value and gives us good tempo as well to get around control. Decree allows us to play a unit from our deck. This deck is extremely consistent. Sometimes you might not even need Decree to be honest with you. But in saying that, round one to help get you round control, it may be really important sometimes to find Coral or Burner or maybe Axel Three Eyes for a big point slam at the end of round one. Of course, if you've missed Geralt Jordan at the end of a match, Decree is a good use in that sense too. Crow Mother, also a Druid, deploy, spawn two crows in this row. Whenever you play an alchemy card, summon Crow Mother from your graveyard to a random allied row. What we want to do with Crow Mother is really ensure that she gets either played out round one or discarded to the graveyard. And then she'll be a consistent carryover for us throughout the entire match, which works really good, especially if we're bleeding the opponent going in a short round three situation. She can give us a few extra points and it could help us win the match, right? Another good thing, playing Crow Mother for the deep boy can work good with the Crow Clan Druids and Axel Three Eyes. So bear that in mind. Truffle, really good card in our alchemy deck. Resilience, if we don't utilize the order ability of Truffle, it carries over into the subsequent round. Deploy, spawn and play a bonded unit from your deck. So that's going to be the Crow Clan Preachers, the one that boosts on bonded for two points of boosting. Order, spawn and play Gold of Froth, an alchemy card. So, great synergy in this deck. You can utilize Truffle to work as an activator for Scenario. That could make sense. Um, playing this into round 2 on a bleed. Maybe you wish to reserve the order ability to carry on for a short round 3 situation. It's really up to you how you want to play this. Whatever line you're going to take. In my opinion, this card will come out round 2 or 3. <coughs> we have Heatwave in this deck. Banish a unit or an artifact. So I've got Heatwave in here to target the opponent's scenario cards in particular, but you could reserve this as a tall punisher option. Maybe get rid of a resilience unit, something like that. So I've added Geralt Yurden in here. Geralt allows us to reset the power of all units in a row on Deep Blue. So look, here's the thing, my friends. This deck feels power crept, okay? Knights are very strong. Harmony is really strong. If we're just going point for point, we may lose. We may not have the strength with this kind of a deck. But having Geralt Yurden in here and having Last Say at the end of the match could give us a pretty good chance to still compete and contend with these very powerful decks at this time. So that's why I've got Yurden in here. What we can do against those kinds of greedy, solitaire styles of play is just push hard for round control round one Go along round three, and then Geralt Yurden is a lot of control. Sunset Wanderers. This card starts in our hand, leftmost position. Beginning of turn while in hand. Move self one position to the right, boosting self by one. At the end of your turn, if you haven't passed, there are no cards to the right of this card. Summon self from your hand to a random allied row. Draw a card. This deck, um, pardon me, this card helps us reach into our deck because we're getting to draw a card which is pretty good so we've got a lot of thinning in this deck and consistency should be able to find everything we need 
the thing with sunset wanderers is because we're doing a lot of drawing of cards we are able to delay sunset wanderers so it makes sense in a deck like this could give us potential to kind of bleed into round two and then may maybe play scenario in round three gives us some flexibility in what line we want to take during a match basically you want to keep playing cards to the left of sunset to avoid it getting summoned as much as possible and as much as makes sense so here's our scenario card we are progressing whenever playing a druid what i'd like to say is the best way to activate scenario and play into it would be to utilize these druids from our deck the two original copies and the one from truffle as we play our druids we're activating the different chapters and the first opening of the play of scenario gives us a preacher we get to spawn crow's eye rhizome and then we have madrum so these are the kind of cards that we're going to be generating with scenario can generate a lot of points having the, the bonded preachers together this card would come out in a in a situation where you're looking to 2-0 the opponent or maybe you bleed and want to save it for a round three something like that now that i've covered the list let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck so what we want to do round one is prioritize swarming crows playing crow clan druids getting crow mother out and relying on our thinning and discard package to get round control so that's exactly the line you're going to take you may wish to take a proactive play play crow mother and then shortly after you play coral next followed by burner um, the hay maze skulls and you're going to look to discard skirmishes mork fog you can swarm crows with crow's eye rhizome you can play crow clan druid and let's say axle three eyes range drew at the end of all of that so the line you're going to take during a match whether it's to 2 0 or go along round three really depends on the list you're versing if we're going to verse those greedy decks such as the knights or harmony decks at this time winning round one passing and going into a long round three might not be so bad because at the end of the match we have final say with Geralt Yerden, which could pretty much be very devastating and we got heat wave to deal with those scenario cards that we might see so if you're going to verse greedy decks go along round three if you're going to verse control deck maybe you want to bleed maybe you want to push into round two playing truffle getting sunset wanderers out playing a few cards like that and then reserving scenario for round three or you could even go for the 2-0 whatever line you're going to decide to take into round two or three you most likely want to open up with scenario followed by truffle try to save all of your preachers to be played together with scenario and truffle that can play for a lot of great value and at that time really just going to commit the rest of your cards you got leader to consider once you have all your preachers down on the board and remaining alchemy cards bear in mind crow mother is a good carryover card in this deck giving us a few extra points in some situations so i hope you're going to enjoy the following matches and i really appreciate your time and support not bad very interesting we can get a proactive play like this i guess let's take it from there archie spore all right Just wait for them to get something else out. Yo, let's go, Wex. Yeah, yeah, we're playing Alchemy, my friends. Really looking forward to it. I haven't played Alchemy in uh, quite some time. Okay. Cool. That might even be amusing. Get rid of Morkvog. Could discard that. Right. Drago Warrior. Opponent going for some thinning. What do I got left? We got two of these in here. 
Let's see if we draw one. No, oh, pillar. Well, oh, pillar ain't so bad. Pillar with. Maybe like this. Yo, it's good, James. How are you? Good to see you again. Spontaneous evolution. If we pass now, maybe we force something good out of the opponent. There is a bit of a point gap there. And I just want a long round because we have Yurden. Maybe we get something good out. Rain list. Oh, nice, nice. I never really got into rain myself. How's it been performing so far? <laughs> Yo, gang's here. <laughs> That's good, gang. Yeah, we're playing Yurden. Um, just to give us a way to be competitive against these buffed up decks, you know, like Knights, Harmony. To still give us a chance. Because otherwise we'd probably get outpointed, right? Okay. So we get our long round, which is what I want with Yurden. I don't know how Heatwave plays against their deck. That's good to get up. Right. Yo, it's good Mando. How are you, my friend? Yes. Good. That will be our pass card. So we can just play this, discard that. Should be good. Uh, do they want to play into this? <laughs> hey, I respect it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, let's do it. Don't you pester me. Crack and eat nice. Look easy. Cool, and we still got Sunset Wanderers. Congrats, Mando. Well done. Very happy for you, my friends. That is awesome, man. Yo, we gotta find Getty, dude. What? Yes! Um, wait, I can pull into a Crow Clan Druid with Decree, right? Is that what it was? I better save Decree when this comes out. I got no idea what Sunset Wanderers might get me. Could be pretty sketchy. Man is an arrogant Maybe that predatory dive. But um, this is probably the way to work into it. Uh oh. Okay, hold up. We're gonna sequence it like this, I think. Yep. I think I do it this way.
Neuromancy. Yeah, I thought they might have that. Oh my goodness, dude. They really have some answers, don't they? Trust equally in heart and mind. They, they could have another uh, selection. Oh, that's all right. Yo, Lemon, what's up? What's on the menu? Mate, we are playing Alchemy today. Hope you can enjoy it. Which taunt? Say the word. Yeah, thanks for the follow. I got you, I got you. You'd like alchemy? Nice. Tris, spontaneous evolution. Hey, I called it. I know my decks. I know my cards. Give you something to remember. Should I greet that? One who is blind can you might find this shop. Well, let's see. Mm. I don't really have too many other alchemies here. This is gonna be the froth. Get his back, mate. Thank you, my friends. Yo, Zeros. So, they made board boost, but we have Yerdon here, which is quite nice for us. I have to spread our points across a bit too. We've got to consider that. This going back here. Uh... Reach, reach beyond. Maybe. Axel, three eyes, playing for eight points. Crow Clan, Druids. Druid can go. Wow, really? Man, that's, a, that's a bit of a late dive. Better to open up like that when I played Getty. I did expect it, but... One for potions, one for soup. One for potions, one for soup. Probably playing Axel Melee. If I get if I get Heimei Scald with Decree, I can pull into Mahakamel and we can get a pretty good big boost here. I think so. Just heat waves um not looking so good here. What's up, Nucleator? How are you? So this will be five. Yeah, place better. It's a better play. Because we have bonded units. You gonna work? Oh, That is absolutely terrible timing. Don't worry. That's why we got YouTube deck guides. And you can catch it there. Shortly after the stream's ended. We must spread our boost effectively. Maybe here? I guess it's kind of hard to avoid Yurden 
effectiveness from them. Was it Yennefer? Yeah, it's Yennefer. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Where are we going? Is a back row the best? These are... Yeah, it's gonna be back row, right? Not your lucky day. So they'll have Yodin as well. Yeah, it's Yodin, isn't it? Or... A sp nah, it'd be Yodin. I'm sure they have Yodin. Yeah. They're doing the math. Yo, it's good, Ash. How are you? <laughs> he who knows, or she who knows. <laughs> I do like playing she who knows. Maybe they can turn me into a resilience card. He who knows. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Great. Is that right? Yes, cool. Which one? You have to tell me which one. I have to know these things. option to crush you he is ruthless tell you don't you pester me gaunt is pretty uh ruthless leader skin as well <laughs> why not as long as we're having a good time that's all i care about man Ooh, the Striga play. Uh, our hand's kind of a bit sus. Our hand is suspicious. Is this like an early pass for us? Maybe we just go for the carryover. We don't have a discard kind of uh, package. That's True Corp. Yes. The Man of Glass. What a cool character. We are missing some key combos. Purified Defender, Heatwave Kelly. They race stack for Sabbath, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Get rid of this. Now it's pass. Nuggle far. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. You're a legend, V. Thank you for your time. What a kind person you are. Extremely kind person. Round one, Nugglefar. I like to kind of hit a round two, but it depends on your deck build, I guess. It's usually sketchy around one. Yeah. 
Nah, mate, you're the best. So we're reserving Pella? Where the hell is my discard package? And Heatwave. Yes! Oh, crap, man. So, I have to reserve Heatwave for Kelly, though. It has to be that way. Doesn't it, right? Oh, our hand is so bad, dude. I'm serious. We have a bad hand. Oh my god. Reach, reach beyond what the eyes see and the ears hear. This hand's terrible. Well done, Shu. Thank you for the match. Well played. <laughs> You're the legend, mate. I'm gonna try to do my best, friends. Honestly. This is so bad, dude. Oh my goodness. I really have to go like... I have to play it like this even, probably. Man is an like this, maybe. Creature. Maybe I'm gonna do something like that, because we got a crap hand, man. Such a bad hand. Sup, Afghan? Give me something good, Sunset. Come on. Boosting for the dominance. Hopefully, um, the Skull can get us out of this a bit, give us something good. If they kill Crow Mother, it's better if we pull an Alchemy. I ain't really tripping. Hey, listen here. Oh, let's see. Well. Yeah. Got a discard. We can do something. Just Crow's Crow, Crow um, Clan Druid. We can do something here. Maybe it's going to be Purify the Nine, so, okay. Right. This could help us combat Kelly, lower power tokens. And I'm not really going to need the Pella though, am I? Maybe it's Pella here. Parting spirit, what need ye to flee this world ever free? For what? What are we gonna do? What am I gonna do? What do I have left to use? I got nothing. Let them roast stack for Yodin. Better. Discard that. We need scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Two druids. Yeah.
Probably like this. It's probably this way. Yeah, you know what I mean, Xeros? Once Heat Wave's gone, anyway, Cave Troll to stick is better. Because we've got Yurden, right? Oh! Whoa! Get in the way of my axe. That's so good now. Um. Which way am I boosting? We boost Crow Mother with Truffle. Remove dominance for the hound. That is so good, man. Wow. So good. So get rid of a six. Okay, that's good, man. That is so good. Yes! We can reset the hound. Yes! Damn it. What a comeback! My god! Oh! Better later. Coral. There's three eyes. Ooh, great. Better now. Don't you pester me. Nice. What would you say? <laughs> Mill incoming, I think it is. Marked by the Fian Doom. <laughs> oh man, one of these ones. I can do a great deal more for you. Let's not get in the way of my axe. So I have to push for last say with Yurden against this deck. We enact the will of the cosmos. Can we do it that way? Just go long round three, final say.
And we just got that in there. Miss the Calvate? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got it zero at the end, but triple six almost defeated me round two. We can play Crow, play Axel Three Eyes. They're probably searching for scenario. Yeah, true. We're not going to get full crow value doing it this way, but it brings out crow mother. And then sets this up. Healing value a bit. Defender? Behold, new God's iron might. Yeah, you know what? That's probably our pass. And if they wanted to go scenario back there, maybe they won't commit scenario now because we've passed and then it leaves it exposed for following round. Unless they want to go to... Nah, they wouldn't commit scenario now. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. We are getting ready for a tiebreaker. And we got the right hand. We got the math. Hello? You're dead! Uh, Mir Manganel? I made a Spies deck with a Mir. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have made one. A while back. So, I have to leave Heat Heatwave for Scenario, right? Even though it ends there. I think that's what we do, right? Man is an arrogant creature. <laughs> that's how it works. I guess we play it this way. Wow, tiebreaker against these, this cultist. <laughs> you think so? The biggest magic moment. <laughs> Blind can yet see. I hate nothing more than a creaky door. Death is nigh.
Is the Axel Carter cultist? Human druid. So they're just trying to kill the low powered stuff, right? That's what we have to keep denying. <laughs> um, guys, uh, I'll get back to you in an hour. I just got some reading to do. Is that worth a heat wave now? I don't know. It's it's like really late. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight. If... Really, you think so? Why don't we let them overswarm this side? Yeah. Why don't we just let them clog? Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes, exactly. They have no room. That's right. Iteran maybe is not good in this strat. Is it? What do you think? Yeah, just just let them clog. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Just let them clog. If we if they have toll punish, we're gonna see it now. So get rid of the 14. Haha, <laughs> yes! Oh, nice. I like it. <laughs> 